When I went to my first yoga class, it happened to be at Yoga Vista. Okay, so some of you know I own the Yoga Vista studio, so how about that? How does things just all wrap up so tidy in life, right? But you never know that when you're going through it, right? So my first class at Yoga Vista, I did not own the studio course at that time. And the very first teacher I went to was a 79-year-old yoga teacher. I walked in the room. She had her back to me, and she was probably built like me, tiny and just fit. And, you know, and, and she turned around. She goes, hi, I'm Mary Cavanaugh. I'm like, oh, my gosh, you look awesome. And she says, I've been teaching yoga for 40 years. And I'm like, I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> so we ended up really establishing a very close relationship. She taught gentle yoga and senior yoga and chair yoga. So, um, so anyway, Mary and I uh, ended up having a really good special relationship and she was 81. When this uh, conversation happened, she said, Sherry, I don't know how long I'm going to be living on this planet and I really would like to take my work and I would like to have something for my legacy. I would really like to videotape some of my work. And I've never videotaped anything in my entire life, right? But I've done a lot of projects. I'm a project manager. I can get things done. So I said, oh, Let's do it. Let's videotape some of your work. So we did. This is Mary's. This is my very first DVD I ever did. <laughs> Gentle Yoga for Seniors. This is Mary. And so that was the first one. And then we did a second one with her, was, which was Gentle Yoga on the Mat. And then these are a collection of all the DVDs I've done since, plus more. I have 25 full-length yoga DVDs. Did I ever plan on being a yoga DVD producer? No. <laughs> right? So my point is, you don't know where your life is going, you guys. You don't know what's going to happen next year. You don't know. Ride the wave. People come into your life. I always say people come into your life for a reason, season, or a lifetime. And remember that. So Mary was there for a reason, wasn't she? And a season, too. So in 19, um, when she turned 84 years old, we went to, um, to celebrate the launching of her um, DVDs, and it was pretty successful. We decided to go to Estes Park Yoga Journal Conference. So we went up there together and she had trouble breathing so we felt like oh you know maybe it was the um, altitude and things like that well she got home and she still had a lot of trouble breathing so she went to the doctor finally and they said you have such bad heart blockage it's it's bad we we need to operate or otherwise you're going to just degrade so I know Mary looked at her life and said do I want to degrade in a nursing home and not be able to breathe and be on oxygen or do I want to go for the full-on open heart uh, operation and she went for the open heart and she did not make it through so that was devastating for me. It was absolutely devastating for me. And uh, I, it stopped me in my tracks. It was like, it wasn't like 9-11 happened again. And I'm like, okay, what does this all mean? Why did I meet this woman? Why am I going down this path? Why am I doing all these DVDs? And all of a sudden, now she's dead and I have this big supply of these DVDs. And um, so I had to do a lot of soul searching in that one. And um, how many people meditate? It's powerful. It's powerful. And when you meditate, you get into a different mode, right? And you get different messages. And inspiration comes when you meditate. And you know what inspiration means? You're in spirit. That's what you are when you're meditating. You're in spirit. So in that moment, one time when I was meditating, in my spirit, Mary connected with me and she said, Sherry, I am passing the baton to you. My work is done. And I knew that 100%. That made sense to me because here I am, a high-tech girl. I've got all these skills. I can, I can take her work and make it broader. So I just want you all to know in this room, I am passing all my little pieces of my baton. I'm breaking them up into little chunks and giving each one of you the baton because there's a big race out there for us. we got to meet and, and service a lot of people out there, right? So that's what Mary did for me. And that one woman changed my life. Right? And so what I do now is I'm trying to empower teachers to do the same.